All right, so what the first part that we want to really answer for our class is what is discrete mathematics? So does anybody have um, any, does, does anybody know what the word discrete means? Incognito. Okay. Incognito. Um, Separate. Okay, so individually separate and discrete and dis sorry distinct. You're you're an individual. So um, when we talk about discrete math, it's it's very differently. So in in a continuous math. Continuous math is like when we talk about functions. So if I said like something like y equals x squared, right? You would graph this like this. A little bit better on the bottom. And continuous, if you look at this, this, this graph has values everywhere. It has every single point. It's everywhere. It's continuous. I never have to lift off the pencil, right? In in discrete math, oh, that was terrible. I'm getting used to my writing again. In discrete math, and if we were doing something very similar, we might only have this point, this point here, here, here. Right here. Now, you any any value in between these points doesn't exist. So the the values that we're we're looking at in the math can only be those specific values. So while this you know with this other graph you can we would say on here it x can be like less than um, you know one hundred and greater than or equal to negative 100 and that you, you can give me a value for X and it's possible that that I can give you so you said oh what about X equals 58.6 so X equals 58.6 boom that would that would work in continuous math but in discrete math we have very specific values so in other words X can be 1 two, three, four. Um, and sometimes we would write this, and I'm just going to try to show you the notation. I use a brace. I know the brace is a very tricky um, symbol sometimes to write. And we would say one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. So x can't be a decimal in this example for discrete math. x can only be one, two, three, and as you can follow the pattern, four, five, six. So with discrete math, the biggest key factor in discrete math is that we, the, the values are all individually separated. We can identify every single value that we are looking at. Whereas in a functions, and you, you've learned in your algebra classes, you can go on to any value. You can talk about big values. You can talk about decimals. You can talk about radical values. But with discrete math, we have individuals. Now, that's not to say we're just going to be studying um, problems where instead of a, a function where we connect the line, we only talk about the you know one, two, three. That's well, that's part of it. It's not the only thing. Throughout this class, we'll do things called investigations. So um, I'll say investigate. 
And when I say something like investigate, this means to, you know, you know, think, try, um, and share. So we'll go into breakout. It might be in a breakout room. We might um, we might um, share it out in a classroom. We might talk about it. And usually it's this is usually a lot of more open ended um, type of questions. Um, there there typically is there is an answer. But the journey is far more important. So think of the answer as the destination. Um, we're going to be much more worried about uh, how we're getting there, how how your how your thinking behind these problems are, and we'll 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 learn certain tactics about different problems. Um, but a lot of what we're doing here is about opening up your mind to how to think and how to how to answer how to what are what are questions how to draw them out and how to use discrete math to do so. So, for example, um, a popular mathematician. is throwing a party. And I know this is doesn't go against this is a pre COVID. <laughs> okay. Um, to start the party off. Oh, sorry. He has everyone shake each other's hand not themselves they're not going to shake their own hand exactly once Okay. How many handshakes take place? So this is the real question. So there's 10 people at this party. Okay. Um, there are 10 people at the party. There are 10 people at the party, and each person will shake one other person's hand, okay? Um, every, sorry, each person at the end will have shaken every person's hand one time. So if I shake this person's hand, I will not shake their hand again. And I will make sure that I, I shake every other person. Now, I am one person. I am one of the 10. I will shake all the hands. Now, what I want you to do, and I want to see what you're thinking of, is this this is an open-ended question. If you feel like sharing at the end, you can. Um, but there, there and actually, um, we're going to talk about this um, in tomorrow's class. But here is what I want you to do for the first part. Your assignment is to write down your thinking or solution to the problem hand written in addition to this you're going to pdf scan your answer to turn in and I'm gonna explain this PDF scan right here so 
Here's your assignment that we're going to do. We're going to just, you're, I, I just want you to think about it. Um, however, I want to see what you're thinking of. You're going to share it only with me um, for the initial part. And then we'll talk about, you know, you know, kind of what this answer looks like tomorrow. I might, I'll have somebody share. I want to keep things very simple for it. So you'll want to write down this problem, this investigate problem. This whole problem right here is what I'm asking you to do for today's. And that's all we're doing. That's all. I gave you, I wanted to just a really brief introduction to this course and to give you a, a problem. So a popular mathematician is throwing a party. To start the party off, he has everyone shake each other's hand, not themselves. Exactly once. How many handshakes take place? There are 10 people at the party. So on a, on a piece of paper, you, you can write down, you can, if you want to, you can write down the question as well. I want you to attempt to work on, on and working on this. And that's going to be your homework tonight. 